guys. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for finding me. So last weekend, Amy McKeon and I took a long weekend to Fort Myers, Florida to see the one and only Kathleen Osmore with Cause Creations. And this was our view every single morning. The weather was gorgeous. It was in the 70s. And during the day, this was our view in her gorgeous studio. So what we did here is they wanted me to show them uh, how I use Amsterdam pearls. And what we're gonna be doing is swiping them with a black cell activator um, to see what kind of lacing and cells we can get to pop up. So that is what we're going to be doing. I'll pop in here in just a second uh, when I start pouring the colors and give you some more information. Now I'm using the main colors of the Amsterdam Pearls, which is yellow, red, blue, green, and purple. I'm not using white in this one. And I actually made some orange uh, by mixing the red and yellow together. But in the end, it kind of fades away. So I'm not quite sure what happened to that color. Um, either that or it blended in with the yellow a little too much. I don't know, we'll see at the end but um, these are all mixed with Creative Inspirations Polymer Gloss Medium and Varnish and some Floetrol and a tiny bit of water and your consistency is gonna be a little bit thicker than you would think it would be for this technique. Um, but it does need to be a little bit thicker so that when you stretch it out, uh, your lacing and your cells are gonna be able to maintain their integrity and not go all wonky because nobody likes wonky cells. Now when you're swiping, you want to hold your palette knife really, really lightly. You want it to just skim over the top of the paint and you don't wanna press down too hard um, so that paint is gathering on the sides of your palette knife. So very light grip, um, as soon as you feel that palette knife touch, you're good and just kind of start very slowly, very gently um, swiping. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that generally when I tilt, I like to tilt and stretch out all of my paint before I send it over the edge. Um, I like to get an idea of what my composition is gonna look like, maybe areas that I don't like that I wanna tilt off. Um, you'll notice that I'm not doing that with this specific technique. And the reason why is the more you tilt and move that lacing around, the higher your risk is going to be of it going wonky. Stretching it this direction, that direction, back over here, back over there. Um, 
you want it to, to stay, you know, pretty much intact. And um, the only way I found to do that is to just go ahead and tilt it uh, the least amount of times that you have to. Um, we're going to leave some negative space on this one. Um, Kathleen has been bugging me about leaving negative space, so that was for her. Um, but I wanted to let you know that's why I'm not kind of willy-nilly tilting it all over to see what I'm going to get. Uh, because I like what I have and I want to keep it. Guys, I love lacing. It is so cool. Look at it in the bright areas. Look at it in the dark areas. Um, I just love lacing. And the way that it stayed intact, um, I'm so happy. I really do like this piece. You don't know what it's going to look like now because the colors haven't changed, but you'll see what a difference it makes when it is dry. Those colors are stupendous. I haven't varnished this piece yet. Um, I always like to show it just how the paints shimmer on their own without varnish. Oh gosh, you can see the yellow. It dried gold. Um, which is really interesting but you can see that lacing in the black area and then it's over um, the red area as well but yeah it's just these colors are just incredible um, these paints never ever disappoint I've never had a bad piece with them yet knock on wood I think that might be some of the orange right there I don't know it looks more um, reddish in person and um, this is a piece that I'm not quite sure which orientation I like better. I see different things in uh, each, each direction that I turn it. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. I see a man's profile of his face up in the right-hand corner. Um, this was a second piece that I also did at Kathleen's house and it was wet when I left um, so she still has it but I left a lot more negative space on this one and um, I'm hoping she'll send it to me I have to be really nice to her but she sent me a picture of it and this is what it dried um, just gorgeous this is them together and they make a nice little uh, diptych there. I'm digging these colors. Guys, don't forget about the Fluid Art Experience coming to Asheville, North Carolina. May 23rd through the 25th is right around the corner. You know you wanna go. I want you to go. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.